Here at UC Davis, in the Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering, we are trying to solve agricultural and food global problems by integrating engineering and biological systems. In the humid tropics, approximately one-third of the total food produced is lost prior to reaching the consumer. High commodity moisture content at harvest and high relative humidity during storage enable growth of fungi that produce highly toxic compounds like alpha toxins. Over 4.5 billion people, 10 times more people than the U.S. population, are chronically exposed to aflatoxins in their food. Therefore, we are evaluating the use of hydroscopic salts and a powerful des desiccant drying beads to dry commodities. Once dry and packaged, no further energy and infrastructure is required to preserve the quality and prevent aflatoxin accumulation. So what we really wanted to know about these salts is what makes them so interesting. And um, what the term hygroscopic means is that these salts have a uh, affinity towards getting moisture out of the air or the environment that they're in. And so we have six salts that we're using in our experiment and all of them are very hygroscopic, meaning they love to attract water out of the environment. And so we also are using a proprietary dry bead system that is just like the salts and they also absorb water and they're made by a company and we're seeing which one of these would be the best at getting moisture out of our corn. Let me take you through an example of what we're doing. So in this envelope we have magnesium chloride which is one of the hygroscopic salts and what it does is that it takes the moisture around it which is um, these corn pieces and uh, water and it attracts the water inside the envelope and it binds to the magnesium chloride and stays there. And that's what we're trying to test with these six salts and the dry beads. Which one can bind that water, more, more, more water, and for how long? The second question that we want to answer is, how do we know if the salts are absorbing water? Well, to do that, we're using capacitive sensors, such as these ones. Inside of this enclosure, there's a capacitor, which changes its properties based on the changes of relative humidity and temperature. Therefore, using this sensor, we can predict which salts are absorbing faster relative to others. What we hope to accomplish is to empower food producers and packagers to better dry their product and therefore enhance the quality and safety of product.